Hi guys, I was just looking on my own YouTube channel to see if we made any videos about all the grub themes we've given you. I don't know if you remember the message that we have so many themes. Yay Vimix! Let's make this way bigger. So all the green stuff is from us, Arconix repo, right? And the third party is from somebody else, but we've built it. So it's ready to be installed, simple as that. And all the rest is community, that's Arch, and AOR is blue, and that's somebody else. But basically, right, it's exactly the same thing. It's a package build, it needs to be built, and we build it for you, and that's the green stuff. The green stuff is what we build from the blue stuff. <laughs> Talking in colors. So, um, yeah, we've got already a grub theme, sure. And it's called Arclix Grub Theme Vimix. It's an adapted theme from the same supplier, the same developer, but we've changed it to our liking, right? So more in the middle and stuff like that, other icons, that's, that it's nice for us. Now, the other things are 100% from him, right? So all the settings, the fonts, uh, the buttons, the, we don't like to see the three buttons at the, at the bottom, well, choices. So what if you want to have one of those guys? Now I am on the 1080. So number 12 is a good one. So white sir, mm, 1080. That's white 1080p and have one in color. So those I've seen the one in color, didn't like the icons. So I'm wondering what's this number seven? Vimix white 1080p. Let me type in number seven. All right, and then it gets from our repositories. It's 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 downloaded and it's installed somewhere. And that's the thing. If something happens to your machine, stay in control. Go to Pamac and use it. Often do it here because it's just graphical, and we need to see if he finds it. Of course. Vim mix. Ah, there it is. So we've got this and we got that. Okay, cool. I thought, hey, what the hell? <laughs> Files. So what is he doing? Ah, he's putting stuff in the user share group themes, Vimix white, zoom, all kinds of things. A lot of PNGs, that's obvious. There are some fonts here. Terminus is a font, and this is the D thing. It starts with the team top text and that's shouldn't be missing and should be changed if you don't like things in there but a lot of pngs and here are some other fonts and the background not unimportant the background so that's what happens it's it says something in the user share creams grub themes vimix white now there are two ways of doing things i must have made a video about but since I can't find it, we'll make a video, right? But sometimes I make videos and then I break off because I don't know, somebody came in the room and voila. But um, two options. If we know now where it is, let's have a look. User, share, group, boom, the themes. So we have ours and we have the one that we've just installed, Vimix White 1080p. The question is, which one will I explain first? Which one is easier? I don't really know. I can't really tell what's easier. What's maybe less work that I can probably deduce that if I go to ETC, and this one I must have explained it, I don't know, default, grub. This is your file that defines your grub. If I can say in this file that go in a corner and stay in a corner, no. Okay. If I can say that, let's make this colorful, let's make this nice pearl. Here it says the grub theme is boot grub themes, Vimix themes text. 
okay it's boot grub themes vimix boot text that's ours that's where you change if you go to the att and you go in there and say oh i would like to have another wallpaper because i'm so fed up with this one All right you choose arch linux by the way i'm on arch apply boom it's changed what we see is that the background maybe you can see it background png is it this one has been changed depends let's have a look team text ah we've changed the name so now it told them that arch Linux 04 is a chief chief of command so this guy is now in control that's our grub now simple as that so we changed that thing not overwritten the background png which is a default that's our default look all right that's something else that's our vimix changing with att just the wallpaper everything stays the same we want to have the one from the aor well if i can do this is this easier i think this is the easiest solution if i can do this Control V and a slash. Is there a theme.txt? There is a theme.txt. Double click. All kinds of things. It's going to use the background GPG. You can change the colors and the font and make this bigger and so on and so on. But if there's an update, it ever, everything will be over it. All right? But it's fun to work with these configuration files until you break it then it's no more fun so this is i think the easiest solution and open it with sublime text because when i save this it's gonna say hey you're not root and then you give the password and it's saved now your grub doesn't have a clue that you changed something doesn't have a clue Control t you have to tell Hey guy, go update the grub, which is an alias. We'll have a look later. But this line needs to be there, right? This line needs to be there. Otherwise, you haven't changed anything. User, share, grub, themes, Vimix, white. Wow, let's see. But first, alias, update grub. I always forget this line. So we made a alias. Pseudo grub make configuration minus o boot grub grub it's too long. Update grub. Let's have a look. What have we changed? Uh huh. And there's these buttons and the text. Well, on on real metal, it's bigger. Um, but even so, it all matters. Sometimes you have more than one boot up. Huh? Arclix and Arclix D and maybe an Arclix B. Three in one hard disk, that's no problem. That's possible. But the icons down there, mm, I'm not a fan of it. Anyway, this is the white look. And we're back here. Small screen. Oh my God, remember the tip of the last video? Click, click virtual machine we're back that's one solution i think this is the easiest one sometimes and you'll find many videos about that that i'm sure grub customizer is a great tool it lets you very simply change kernels and and, and windows at the top and then linux and and so on so the general setting is start with the first entry so if, if I say if this this would be the line of windows, I'll just move it to the top, as simple as that, and windows will put up. So that's non-technical, visual, safe, boom, it's saved, and you'll boot up with windows, for example. Or with the, the Xen mod kernel or something else, right? You change around things, the lines that come in here. The problem is, the theme, Vimix is great, right? Fine. That's our doing. What I, do I mean with that? In the file system, in boot, in grub, themes, Vimix, and Starfield. 
So because of the way we do things, Grubs, Grub finds it. Grub looks at Grub themes and that's all it does. Ah, maybe you, you get, you're getting now the same what if that I have. If, and try it out, I don't see any way to tell Grub, go to the other system place, user, share, Grub, themes. There's no way of telling him there are themes there as well. But nobody says that if I go to user, share, Grub, themes, Vimix, nobody is against or can can be against the fact that ah <laughs> come on that i can be in control there you go Whew. that i am in control and i just move a folder or copy a folder better to copy right i pseudo copy recursively the folder which one where am i okay this one vimix white to where ah to the other place to boot grub themes. If I can do that, then the other guy knows where everything is. Grub themes. And that's not a bad idea. And I'll explain. Sorry, user grub themes, that's it. Eh? So copy me that folder that's located where we are now. This I'm, I've opened it here. Otherwise my path would have been longer and eh? would have been user, share, grub, themes, and then Vimix white. Two, boot, grub, themes, next to it. Not inside Vimix, eh? next to it. Enter. Now, this guy gets updated all the time. This one, the system has no clue it exists. This one can be yours forever and ever and ever. We done a copy paste and Pacman has no clue that that folder is there. How could he? It was not installed with the package. Now we need to, you would think and this would work, but no, the reload doesn't work. Uh, yup, quit without saving. But if you relaunch it, then it's going back to the grub, boot grub themes. Eh? To look at the folder and then this becomes super simple click save and now all the update grub things and all everything is done and you are in control this is the background gpg uh-huh uh-huh let's take something that's obvious Control c i'm gonna move this to there i have to be root open folder as root control v i have now this guy in there that's called background gpg either i change the name in here or what i often do is just overwrite it so this is the background original and this will be my background Voila. So you can keep on messing with the rest, right? Team text, be my guest and, and play around with all these settings, that's, that's fun. Terminal left, terminal top, 100% width, 100% height. This is where we change some things around, left, top, width, height, font maybe a little bigger, um, icon width, icon space, it's, it's all fun and games, basically and trial and error as well. And a lot of time goes by and then you say, it's evening already, right? So, we have applied Vimix White. We have saved it. Now we're sure. And now we have a look. Do we get now the blue thing? We did not type update grub. We went via grub customizer. Is that enough? Or do we need to type update grub? also here no we don't so 
two ways of, of playing around with your configuration and I think I do like the option that you move it to the boot grub since it's never ever gonna be changed all right people if you update things it's it's there and it's yours and it's the look you want and it will stay there until you do a clean install so again maybe end with the last tip again full screen full screen vmware everything fixed why is that keyboard shortcuts or alias actually sv start vmware sv or in longer start vmware is an alias but you still have to play with these buttons and then it figures out oh there's a thousand ninety to hundred twenty one thousand eighty and that's your grub Oop, an update let's quickly see anything to explain and yes it says update and update is exactly the same as update <laughs> all right cheers <laughs>